In the upcoming video, I'll be covering the insulator types utilized in electric power transmission, categorized based on their specific applications. The successful operation of an overhead line depends to a considerable extent upon the proper selection of insulators. There are several types of insulators but the most commonly used are Pin type insulator Suspension type insulator Strain insulator Shackle insulator Pin type insulator Pin insulator is earliest developed overhead insulator, but still popularly used in power network. The pin type insulator is secured to the cross arm on the pole. There is a groove on the upper end of the insulator for housing the conductor. The conductor passes through this groove and is bound by the annealed wire of the same material as the conductor. As the leakage path of insulator is through its surface, it is desirable to increase the vertical length of the insulator surface area for lengthening leakage path. In order to obtain lengthy leakage path, one, two or more rain sheds or petticoats are provided on the insulator body. In addition to that rain shed or petticoats on an insulator serve another purpose. These rain sheds or petticoats are so designed, that during raining the outer surface of the rain shed becomes wet but the inner surface remains dry and non-conductive. So there will be discontinuations of conducting path through the wet pin insulator surface. Pin type insulators are used for transmission and distribution of electric power at voltages up to 33 kV. Beyond operating voltage of 33 kV, the pin type insulators become too bulky and hence uneconomical. The figure below illustrates a pin type insulator. Advantages Simple design, easy to manufacture, and cost effective. Suitable for low to medium voltage transmission lines. Can be easily replaced or repaired if damaged. Disadvantages. Limited insulation distance, making them less suitable for high voltage applications. Vulnerable to damage from environmental factors and pollution. Tend to be heavier compared to other types. Suspension type insulator. The cost of pin type insulator increases rapidly as the working voltage is increased. Therefore, this type of insulator is not economical beyond 33 kV. For high voltages, greater than 33 kV, it is a usual practice to use suspension type insulators. They consist of a number of porcelain discs connected in series by metal links in the form of a string. The conductor is suspended at the bottom end of this string while the other end of the string is secured to the cross arm of the tower. Each unit or disc is designed for low voltage, say 11 kV. The number of discs in series would obviously depend upon the working voltage. The figure below illustrates suspension type insulator. Advantages. Suitable for high voltage transmission lines. Provide a longer leakage path, enhancing their insulating capability. Can withstand higher mechanical stresses. Disadvantages. More complex design, making them relatively expensive. Sensitive to vibration and may require dampers for stabilization. Susceptible to pollution, affecting their performance. Strain insulator. When there is a dead end of the line or there is corner or sharp curve, the line is subjected to greater tension. In order to relieve the line of excessive tension, strain insulators are used. For low voltage lines, less than 11 kV, shackle insulators are used as strain insulators. However, for high voltage transmission lines, strain insulator consists of an assembly of suspension insulators. The discs of strain insulators are used in the vertical plane. When the tension in lines is exceedingly high, as at long river spans, two or more strings are used in parallel. The illustration depicts a strain type insulator. Advantages. Designed to absorb tension and provide insulation in angles or corners. Can withstand high mechanical stresses. Useful in preventing the conductor from breaking due to tension. Disadvantages. Bulky and may require additional hardware for installation. Tend to be heavier compared to other insulator types. More expensive than pin type insulators. Shackle insulator. The shackle insulator or spool insulator is usually used in low voltage distribution network. It can be used both in horizontal and vertical position. The use of such insulator has decreased recently after increasing the using of underground cable for distribution purpose. The tapered hole of the shackle insulator distributes the load more evenly and minimizes the possibility of breakage when heavily loaded. The conductor in the groove of shackle is fixed with the help of soft binding wire. They can be directly fixed to the pole with a bolt or to the cross arm. The figure illustrates shackle type insulator. Advantages. 
Simple design and easy to install. Suitable for low to medium voltage transmission lines. Provide flexibility in supporting conductors at angles. Disadvantages. Limited insulation distance, making them less suitable for high voltage applications. Vulnerable to damage from environmental factors and pollution. May require additional hardware for proper installation and support. The choice of insulator type depends on factors such as the voltage level of the transmission line, mechanical stresses, environmental conditions, and cost considerations. Each type has its own set of advantages and disadvantages, and the selection is based on the specific requirements of the transmission system. If you find the video enjoyable, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, share your thoughts in the comments section, and consider sharing it with your friends.